Hello everyone, welcome to part 21 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel. So uh, from the last few videos we are working on the CRUD operations for the CMS pages. So in this video we are going to work on edit CMS page functionality. In the last video we have seen the add CMS page functionality and we able to add the CMS page. Once again I am going to show you that this feature is working fine and we have added uh, two of the pages so far terms and conditions and privacy policy and one more page i'm going to add uh, just to verify that it is working fine about us page this time about us uh, like this and testing we are going to add the testing in rest of the fields otherwise you can also add some content like uh, uh, stack developers uh, youtube channel provides laravel tutorial anything you can write for testing so you we can add the meta title as well and here is meta title is about us once again and description the same kind of description will work for meta description and keywords uh, keywords are usually like stack developers uh, then about us like this okay uh, laravel like this okay so we are going to update submit and we'll see the new page has been added here about us page so we are going to work on the edit functionality this time so for edit functionality uh, see the admin adds the page and anytime the admin wants to update the page content he can able to update the page content from the admin panel okay so he needs to click here here we are going to add the edit action uh, some icon edit icon we are going to add here uh, okay uh, so uh, here in CMS I'm going to close earlier files first of all and we'll open CMS underscore pages and here uh, we are going to add edit icon here okay uh, like we have added earlier the font app some icon uh, so now we are going to add uh, some other font app some icon for the edit link uh, so here we are going to add uh, font have some another class like i class equal to uh, i'm going to use this one and we'll make change here fa edit i think fa edit is the class maybe uh, okay i have used it earlier as well now we're going to see that it will work fine or not yes it is working fine but here uh we need to add i think style uh, and uh, yeah for link also we need to add first of all we will also add here the link and uh, we are going to add that same link add edit i'm going to see add edit cms page link okay uh, this one along with the id Okay, so here I'm going to add that URL, add edit CMS page under admin. After that, we are going to add the page ID. Like this. Okay, so here uh, style, it seems to be fine. And now we are going to check. yeah uh, so uh, we are going to uh, place it in the after status after edit we are going to make it lit as well and also some spacing is required okay so we can also make the style color same uh, like we have used earlier okay so uh, we can also use your margin top i think a little bit uh, it 
okay is not working okay i think this one is fine okay so we have the edit link uh, for editing the page okay uh, so we are going to modify that uh, cms controller function here edit function we are going to uh, modify uh, for edit uh, cms page here two things we are going to add here in case of uh, edit cms page uh, we are required to uh, update the, this we are going to use the find in case of uh, edit cms here we are going to use here the find and here the id will come dollar id find from where cms page like this okay and here it will come cms page updated successfully or updated successfully like this and also uh, we are going to uh, send the cms page see it will fetch the current cms page that you want to update so it will fetch the details that we are going to send uh, to our page here along with the title we are going to send the cms page details as well so that we can modify here in our add edit cms page okay here we are going to modify here we are going to show uh, once the user click on edit we are going to show the current details of the page okay so uh, here uh, also see we are going to update the action now like uh, if uh, the user if the admin wants to edit uh, and if the uh, id is empty then uh, this action otherwise we will pass the id as well id of the cms page okay so uh, we are going to uh, have that empty that dollar cms page that id if id is empty then we are going to use this one this action otherwise else we are going to use the id as well here slash then dollar id okay then uh, this one dollar cms page id okay dollar cms page dot dollar cms page id like this okay so uh, in title in title also uh, we are going to check like if cms page title we are going to check the cms page array uh, if the title element is not empty then we are going to show its value otherwise uh, we will not show any value okay if not empty dollar cms page title okay if it is not empty then we are going to show the value dollar cms page title like this and if otherwise value is empty so we can use this in all fields here in place of uh, url in place of uh, description uh, no we are not, not going to use but in place of all other fields that are not the description we are going to use this like meta keywords keywords will come here meta description meta description will come here meta title meta title will come url url will come okay so now uh, here also uh, we are going to use this condition and here uh, like uh, not empty description then value will not come here it will directly come like this uh, see uh, and if so we are going to check now i'm going to click on about us edit uh, so here uh, we are required to have this slash we are missing slash here here okay so we have added this slash now we are going to try once again click on edit of about us 
add edit CMS page, add edit hyphen CMS page, make sure last time we have also made the mistake, but here we have not added that ID, okay, ID is missing and ID with question mark, it means this ID may come or may not come. It will not come in the case if you if the admin wants to add the CMS page, but it will come if the admin wants to edit the CMS page. Okay, so that's why we have add the question mark after the variable. So it will work like this. So now we are going to see the complete details are coming here. Except this one is not correct. Okay, we need to correct this one uh, here. Uh, yeah, here we need to update at the rate of not empty that is fine uh, cmsp description uh, 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 i think we are making one mistake here uh, one quick start and and here we need to close uh, this bracket so we are going to check this one now it is showing okay and other places as well i think uh, this one start but uh, how it is working uh, we need to modify like this i think yeah we need to have the bracket here uh, not empty if condition then value and here it is fine and here also uh, and here also okay and here also okay so now I think it will work fine. Uh, all the uh, data is coming fine. Okay. So now uh, we are going to update the data and let's see if we able to update like about us content. We are going to make it about us content and here we are going to make it about us content once again. Standard of YouTube uh, content provides. Okay, like this about us content once again. Let's see that much data we able to update or not. Click on submit and here you can see that we able to make the changes here you can see about us content about us content is it is showing okay so now we are going to remove it once again and see that it makes these changes as well let's see click on submit and this time again we have removed that content okay and here also the swiss message is coming cms page updated successfully so we able to update the cms page details as well for any of the page and we are showing here after updating the cms page and in the next video now we are going to work on the delete functionality so in crud uh, see we have done uh, let's check what we have done so far in the crud see we have done the create we have done the read we have done the update on the delete functionality is left that we are going to cover in the next video so it will complete the crud operation laravel 10 crud operation for us so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.